Hello, welcome to another video. This is a differentiation problem and um, there are two ways to go about it because what we have is not just a function, it is the product of three functions and the product rule needs to be modified. So there is the way that I like and there is the way that I don't like, but I'm gonna show you. So let me show you the two ways. The first way I call the trouble way and the second way I call the good way. Okay, let me show you the trouble way first. The trouble way says, treat these as a product, but you have to do some modified kind of product rule. Remember for product rule, it has to be keep the first, differentiate the second, plus differentiate the first, keep the second. But now what you call the first will be the first two, and then you change it to be the first and the last. And what you call the first again will be the second and the third. So let me show you the differentiation using the product rule. We're gonna say that y prime is equal to, we're gonna keep the first two, and we call the first two the first, and then differentiate the second. So it's gonna be the square root of x, times e to the x squared minus x. Then we're gonna differentiate the next one, which is gonna be two thirds of x plus one, raised to two thirds minus one, it's gonna be negative one third, right? And we have just kept the first and differentiated the second plus. We're gonna do the second one now, we're going to Keep the first, but now we're gonna change what the first is. The first is now gonna be the first and the last, sorry, this and this, and then we differentiate this. Oh, by the way, the chain rule that applies here, because the um, inside, when you differentiate the inside, you get one, so that's why I'm not writing times one. Okay, so we go to the next one. So plus, we're gonna keep this and this and differentiate the middle, so it's gonna be equal to the square root of x, we're gonna keep this, but I'm gonna write it here, x plus one raised to two thirds, and then we differentiate the middle, the middle term, if we differentiate, it's gonna be, applying the chain rule, we're gonna have the derivative of the top is gonna to be two x minus one, multiplied by e to the x squared minus x. So the third part now is, we're gonna keep these two and differentiate this, so this is gonna be equal to, um, if we differentiate this, remember that square root of x is x to the one half. So if we differentiate this, we're gonna get one half x to the negative one half, one half minus one. So we're gonna have one half, and this can be written as one over square root of x. So as you can see, it is square root of x. Okay, one over two square root of x, that's the part that we're going to differentiate. And then we keep the rest, which is gonna be e to the x squared minus x. Then you have x plus one to the two thirds. And these are the three portions of your differentiation. Now, how do we factor? Because you need to clean this up. This looks, uh, what can, what's common to the, th to the three of them? The power here is the same, but here it's not the same. So that's the problem with this method. And that's why I do not recommend this method whenever you see a product of terms more than two or even complicated like this. You should use the new method, not the new method, the next method I'm gonna show you, which is what you would know if you've been watching this channel, logarithmic differentiation it makes your life a lot easier. So here, now I don't know how to factor this, which is the main problem with this, okay? I know how to, but it's gonna take a, long, a lot more work to do. So what I'm gonna do is stop here and say that my y prime is this plus this plus this. Not the best presentation. Now let's do the real thing. The real thing is I'm gonna say that um, y is equal to the square root of x times e to the x squared minus x, so uh, I'm gonna say not the best way, okay? <laughs> not the best way here, but here uh, I have this times x plus one to the two thirds, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take the natural log of both sides, so the natural log of the left will be the natural log 
of the y, of the right. So that's square root of x, e to the x squared minus x, x plus 1 to the 2 thirds. Now I know from algebra or from pre-calculus that when you take the natural log of terms that multiply each other, you can actually split it into sums. So I can say this is the natural log of the square root of x plus the natural log of e to the x squared minus x plus the natural log of x plus 1 to the 2 thirds. Now I can apply all the rules. See, this square root of x can be written as x to the 1 half. So that 1 half, let me write it that way. So I can bring that 1 half back here, 1 half the natural log of x. Plus, I can bring this down here and it becomes x squared minus x times the natural log of e. Plus, this 2 thirds can also come down natural log of x plus 1. So let's do one more simplification. This is going to be 1 half the natural log of x plus, now the natural log of e is 1. So we're just going to write x squared minus x plus, what do we have here? Just 2 thirds of the natural log of x plus 1. So what's left? That's it. This is the natural log of y. So now I can differentiate both sides. So differentiating, differentiating both sides. It means I'm going to differentiate every term. The derivative of a natural log function is basically one over that function divided by the derivative of it. So the derivative of y is y prime, which is what we're looking for divided by itself, which is y, is equal to, if we take the derivative of natural log of x, it's going to be, the derivative of ln x is 1 over x. So 1 over x times 1 half is going to be 1 over 2x. Good. Plus, the derivative of this is 2x, derivative of this is 1, this is 2 thirds, okay, so 2 thirds, 2 over 3, if you take the derivative of this, this is going to be the derivative of x plus 1, which is 1, divided by x plus 1. So we can just put x plus 1 here. And that's it. So you can see that if I write my next line, y is going to be equal to all of this multiplied by y, which looks already factorized. So the stress I would have gone through factorizing this is already done by logarithmic differentiation because what I have is 2x minus 1 plus 2 over 3 plus 3 times x plus 1 and then I can multiply all of this sorry this is y prime by y now what did we say y was from the beginning this is y which is what I would have factored out of this but I didn't know how to do it yet so final answer is y prime is equal to this 1 over 2x plus 2x minus 1 plus 2 over 3 to x plus 1 multiplied by this giant original which is the square root of x multiplied by e to the x squared minus x multiplied by x plus 1 raised to the 2 thirds and this is the derivative of the original function right there. This looks neater than the scattered guy. I'll see you in the next video. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.